Right, so you've come here to learn the fastest way to get uh, Stable Diffusion XL onto your uh, system. And this video is gonna give you a couple of tips, tricks, and um, steps to get you going really, really quickly. So straight into it. If you wanna check out more around um, the Stable Diffusion model, hop into the links um, that are provided in the description. Um, but here's what it's gonna show you, and this is what we're gonna try and set up and get you going. All right, so first up, let's install the Colab version so if you haven't already got collab uh, get that going on your device and links will be in the description so first things first click on connect to start up your runtime server all right so once it's uh, been once you've got a tick mark over here you can now click on runtime and hit the run all button it's going to be a warning it's safe to run and hit run anyway this will take around three to four minutes and you'll be up and running what you can do is have a scroll down to see what it's doing and how it's progressing through the install you'll see at the bottom over here it's going to display a public url which is going to be for you and you would click on that give it a minute and it'll be there shortly all right so around about four minutes as you can see over here and it's provided a public web ui url and what you can do is click on the Gradio link. This is probably the best one that you would um, be using. And I recommend this one. So click on the link, it'll open up a new tab in your browser. Right, so once you've got your um, web uh, UI open, the automatic 1111, um, you can check your stable diffusion checkpoints on the top left and um, make sure your SDVA is on automatic. And I'm just gonna walk you through a couple of settings here just to get you going and um, not give you the frustrations that um, a lot of people have with getting um, Stable Diffusion working. All right, so first things first, um, here's your area that you can type in the command that you would like, um, any negative prompts that you would like. Um, and then over here is ultimately where the tweaks and the settings that uh, trip a lot of people up. So pay close attention here. Um, this is really important if you want to get some good quality images. All right, sampling method. If you want something really fast, use the DPM++ 2M Keras. All right, so really fast, lower quality. Um, if you want something really good quality, but um, uh, it takes a little bit longer. I highly recommend the DPM++ SDE Keras. All right, you free, feel free to play with all these other ones over here, um, but I found that the, um, the, the best at this stage is um, the DPM++ SDE Keras for good quality. All right, um, the next thing you want to look at is if you're using the SDE Keras um, sampling steps, make it around about 15, any more than that, and it starts creating like extra heads and multiple extra bits that you don't really want. All right, um, if you were using the fast one, so the DPM++ 2M Keras, uh, make that um, around 20 to 30 steps. All right, so it uh, just depends on what you would like. All right, the high res fix, really important as well, just to get that clarity. Um, the upscaler is also super important. Um, the latent ones are very sort of basic. Um, I prefer the R ESR GAN 4X. Um, feel free to play with the others, but again, to get you going really quickly, really fast, this is the one that I would recommend. And um, you can then have a play with it, all right? Uh, don't change any of these other settings over here, because if you change the widths and the heights, it ultimately um, starts creating extra funk that you don't really want to see. Um, so yeah, so those are basics. And what I can show you now is just uh, expanding on this a little bit more. Right, so we're going to tweak up the details here a little bit. So let's do a full shot of Iron Man flying in the sky, ultra realistic and with high resolution detail. All right, so what you do is make sure all of your sampling methods are right, your upscaling is correct and hit the generate button. All right, it'll take a couple of seconds and this is the image that's been created. All right, so it's pretty decent. As you can see, some pretty, uh, pretty great um, details over here. All right, if you wanted to save it, click the save button. Um, alternatively, you can click on the download. Or if you wanted to just find all the images that you've created in Colab, click on Colab and go to your sample date. Also click on the little uh, envelope on the left hand side over here. Click on UI and go to outputs, text to images 
and choose the date you can just stable diffusion and we can start playing around and tweaking this up a bit more so um yeah encourage you to go and play around good luck have fun and till next time